Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix there was a problem restart your PC to try again issue in Windows 11 and Windows 10. If you are encountering the error message there was a problem restart your PC to try again with a hexadecimal error code like 0x8000 or 0x8007490. Then it's typically indicating a generic failure or unspecified error in a Windows operating system. Specifically, this error can occur in various contexts, such as when trying to access a file or a program that is not available or when a function is called that is not supported by the operating system or application. However, don't worry, there are some certain fixes you can try to fix there was a problem restart your PC to try again issue in Windows 11 and Windows 10. So let's get started. The simplest solution is often the best. Try force shut down your computer by pressing and hold down the power button key for 10 seconds. And after few minutes, turn your PC back on and see if the issue resolves itself. In order to continue this process, you should have a Windows installation media. If you don't have a Windows installation media, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Once you have a Windows installation media, boot your PC with the Windows installation media. Click Next. Select Repair your computer. And then select Troubleshoot. Open Command Prompt. Type ASFC space forward slash scan now and press Enter. This command will scan your system files for errors and repair them if possible. Ok, as you can see the message, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. If this is not working for you, then try this third method. Open command prompt and type dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup hyphen image space forward slash restore health and press enter. This command will check for and repair any corruption in your windows image. Note, if you are running the DISM command on an incompatible version of windows, it may not work correctly and produce error code 87. If this is not working for you, run offline SFC scan using more system resources with the windows installation media according to your same version of installed windows. Insert Windows Installation Media and boot from that. Click on Next. Then repair your computer. Select Troubleshoot and open Command Prompt. Type PCD Edit and press Enter to find your operating system drive letter and system root path location. Here's my OS drive letter is F. And system root path location shows backward slash windows in uppercase. Now type SFC space forward slash scan now space forward slash of booter equals to your OS drive letter colon backward slash space forward slash of winder equals to your OS drive letter colon backward slash your system root path location. 
Note, maintain the same block or small letter format as it is showing on system root path locations. Now, press enter to execute. And keep patience and don't close this scan and repair operation until it's completed. After completing the process, as you can see the status, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. Now type exit and hit enter. Now turn off your system and remove the Windows installation media and then turn your PC back on. After that hopefully your problem will be solved. If this is not working for you, check for hardware issues. It's possible that there may be an issue with your hardware. You can try running diagnostic test or checking for loose connections. Insert your Windows installation media, DVD or USB and boot your computer from it. Select your language preferences and then click on next. On the next screen, click on repair your computer. Select troubleshoot and click system restore. Select the account you want to use and enter its password if prompted. Click on next. Choose the restore point that you want to use and click on next. Review the restore point details and click on finish. Confirm your selected restore point and click on yes to begin the system restore process. Wait for the restore process to complete, which may take several minutes. Once the restore process is complete, the system will restart and boot into Windows. Check to see if the issue that you were experiencing has been resolved. If all else fails, you can try resetting Windows 11 manually by creating a bootable USB drive and installing Windows 11 from scratch. Or it's better to perform a clean installation process on a separate partition and after that try to recover your important data from the corrupted system partition. If you don't know how to create a bootable USB drive and how to install Windows 11 on your computer, then here's a complete tutorial for you and also the tutorial link given in the description below. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.